Getting ready right now, we're going to the coaching session today with Drunk Master Foxy. Welcome to the stream, bro. So let's see, let's see what you start off of. Start off with. Let's speed it up a little bit. So what do you start and why? I like chain start. Um, All right. Just because I like to prioritize like defensive items, especially early, and chain can go into bramble. Um, I like bramble a lot, mostly because of like. Katarina players right now. I feel like it has a lot of value. Yeah. Um, but also like Sunfire for like win streak early. Okay. So that's good. Like it's more about you knowing what you're picking up and why. So you answered my question. I'm happy about that. Uh, you didn't check mutant though. That's kind of kind of important, but I think I check it here. Okay. You scatter one's board. Why not? Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, so buy, buy the shop, buy the... Okay, so here you need to buy the shop, right? Oh, okay, okay. So what is like the most important unit here in the shop? Um, Is it Garen for Protector with yeah. my my cast? So Garen for Protector, you always buy Garen, and here you just always buy out the shop. Like, you, you, like whenever you can, you just try to buy out the shop. Because I think you had a, a few seconds where you could have done it like here and then you just I could have I was just thinking about hitting um hitting 10 gold and then but come on Quinn is 2 Quinn is 2 But no, I mean no, yeah. no, and that's why I... um I mean here yeah it doesn't matter cuz like here you you buy the shop and then you sell the Quinn anyway so it's kind of oh fuck let's go That's awesome we just get richer and you sell the Quinn and you get 20 right uh, I didn't sell Quinn quite yet because I might have gotten more gold on creeps, so I was going to wait. Even better. Even better. Okay. Um, why are you playing the Darius? Um, I just thought more frontline, and it was just, the, I thought, like, the best unit from that shop to, to put in. It's one of the worst. Well, it's not one of the worst, but it's, like, they're all kind of bad, but there's just one good option. Is so, it singed? Nope. Alawi? No, you're just guessing. Twitch? It's Twitch, because you, you have you have two frontline units, right? Okay, okay, yeah. So like the, the the simplest the simplest way to look at the game is frontline backline. Yeah. So if you're playing two Cassidans, you have frontline. So you don't need another Darius, you need backline. So okay. it's either Quinn or it's or it's Twitch, and you want to play the Twitch so that you can still make twenty and have some backline. And that's like like I'm glad you didn't play the Quinn or you didn't sell the Quinn because you know you can do that a little bit later. And yeah, the other option it's either Twitch or Ilawi for okay. for possible mercenaries. Right, but it's yeah yeah. But it's never Darius. Okay. Okay. Cause it's like you, you need some sort of damage. But let's see, let's see what you get here. Okay, so Okay, so okay, fine. Fine, whatever. You you hit yeah, that. Yeah, I kinda right? didn't, didn't get punished there as I mean I wasn't wait, what? You're not summon Titans? Um, so okay, at this point here I kind of underestimated my my board strength. And I was thinking I was going to go into a, a loss streak. Um, that didn't happen. But I, I, I wanted to just like put items on to preserve HP. But I was a bit stronger than I was actually uh, thinking. Well, two bodyguard got buffed, right? You get another 100 HP on top of whatever HP you have. And you're almost like immune to normal AD comps. So like only assassins and arcanists can kind of screw you over now. Yeah. So yeah, I, I would have... Probably slam the Titans here, because it's also extremely flexible. It's kind of like Bramble, right? And then just Winstreak with it. Um, also, you can level four TF here. I mean, if you want a win streak. I was I was thinking I wasn't strong to win streak. I, I don't know why. I just like underestimated how strong I was. I just wanted to like keep like keep econ. No, but if you level four TF, you're still at twenty. Oh really? Oh, so on my bench. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Because, okay, so you don't need another Sinji. You don't need, uh, you don't need these units because you already have Frontline, right? So, like, the way you okay. should look at it is you're looking to two-star a Frontline unit. And you're looking to two-star a carry. That's kind of all you okay. want to do. So, you two-star a Frontline unit. You're playing Darius. So, you want to play Poppy. If you level up, you're more likely to hit a Blitz or a Leona instead of the Poppy. And then you just want to play some backline damage. That's it. Frontline, backline. And if you have, especially if you have bodyguards already, like you're, even if you hit two star Singed or two star uh, Kassadin, right? You don't want to cut Poppy because it's buffing your, your two star Darius. Yep. So, yeah. So then it's like, why are you holding these units? You're, you're not going to play them anyway. Yeah, I think I hit two star cast next turn, but don't even, don't even play it. Uh, exactly. And you don't... Oh, yes, okay, we got the TF. So now you can go to 30. I hope you go to 30 then. Or... Oh, shit, you, you level... I, for I level for, um, for Yordles. Yep. Okay. I mean, fuck it. Here you can just level and play Ziggs and TF and just win streak, no? For some reason, in my head, I was, like, locked into, like, lose streaking. But you just won. I know. Well, I thought my, I thought my board was, like, still, like, super weak. But that's why you make it stronger. And now that you won, you could have taken the... You could have played the Ziggs over the Tristana and slammed the Titans. Like, you tested it on one round, and now, like, okay, you should have slammed that. Oh my god, you have Swain and... Okay, so it's Swain here. So I would definitely level up to play Ziggs and Swain. Yeah, I didn't do that. You didn't do that? No. I just I just hit 30 and then... Okay, why are you keeping this shit? What is this shit for? Why not keep the Ziggs and the TF? Like... Okay, this is... Uh, yeah, so it's like... Big thing, I'm gonna... I'm gonna check in the second game. If you're thinking about frontline, backline. Okay. Because that's like... Yeah, and again... Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I guess I just like give too much value to just holding like pairs in general over the frontline backline. But what do you like? What are you gonna do with these pairs, right? And you didn't keep the TF pair, which is, I'm pretty sure you had a TF pair, right? Uh, yeah, I did. So right, right there, I wanted the um, uh, the Caitlyn to put in possible snipers. But why? But again, okay, I could have, I could have sold her my bed. Cities and Cassidy are gone. And if you yeah. had the Titans, I think, if you had Titans and five, uh, and level five, and you positioned correctly, like you positioned on this side, or l at least if you had the Titans and, and uh, I guess, Ar Arcanist for more AP, yeah, you could have you de you could have definitely been this guy. Yeah. But like, okay, so you are Econ, and so now you are just going to Econ. So what do you want here? Bramble, I presume? I took Bramble, yeah. Yeah. Since he didn't slam the Titans, makes sense. But you could, like, with the, with the Titans, you could have guaranteed win streak stage 2, for sure. I mean, here it's probably level for the Kassadin, I guess. Yeah. But then who who's your damage dealer? It's just there yesterday. Trist, Trist one. Okay. Okay, fair point, fair point. But wouldn't uh, it's close, but I think wouldn't Caitlyn be better than the Cassadin? Is it? I'm I'm not sure. I didn't think so. For snipers? And it's like you kind of okay, by the way, with, with this Darius. You got a position so that he gets surrounded. Yep, I actually thought about that like as I was in that situation, I think. Because like here at Zyra TF, like you could have been playing Zyra TF Ziggs, because Syndicate and Yordles overlap perfectly. You have two bodyguards, you have two scholars, and you have two uh, Arcanists. You do realize that, right? Zyra TF. So wait, who who would come out? It's um. Well, it's, Cassadin. Well, I mean, you would have kept the Ziggs. Yeah. Like, that's why you can't play the Cassadin, because if you don't win, you have to sell a Trist pair. Oh my god, this is so close. Okay, well, 
You got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but you still can't buy the TF and the Zyra, right? Oh, there's a Vex. Let's go. Oh my god, and a Heimer. Nice. Wait, what the fuck? Oh god. Okay, so Zyra, just... Zyra and Heimer, um, Ziggs and TF, and Poppy and Darius give you Yordle, Bodyguard, uh, Scholar, and Arcanist. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's super fucking OP, especially since you had all those units available to you. So, Darius and Poppy for bodyguards. Then you have <coughs> the TF and Ziggs for Arcanist. And then you have Heimer and Zyra for okay. Scholar. Yep. Look, look how broken this is. And you had that. You had that in the shop. Yeah. And this like this early game really is going to clap. It's going to clap and you're going to get stuff. And obviously, uh, since you hit the, the Heimer, um, sorry, the Vex, just play the Vex instead. Mm -hmm. And then you have something like this. This seems hella strong. Possibly... <coughs> I don't know the, the yeah. attack, attack speed off the top of my head, but you can even slam something like Shiv on, on TF or Zyra or Heimer. Whoever has the fastest attack speed. I guess I'm just not super comfortable with, like, I guess, like, like Arcanist opener, which is why I didn't, like, see that angle. Um, or Titans. Or here you even make Titans. You don't have to make this shit item. You make Titans. But it's... Okay, so it's not... You just play him for now, like... That's the thing, this is stage 2 or stage 3. And Arcanist is a buff to your whole team, 20 AP. So Darius, yeah. Darius does more damage, Zyra does more, Heimer does more, Vex does more, TF does more, and Poppy gets a bigger shield. So like, you just run it for now. Yep. And then you get, yeah, then you can play whatever, oh, there's no tier, but you put the tier on TF or Zyra. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's not that's not bad. Um. Yeah. Here the tier is kind of whatever. I guess you put the tier on MF. I would hope. I think it's let's sit actually. Because it's it's for three rounds, right? And she will cast uh, one auto earlier. Like should have cast it now. Like, I don't know. I think I think you don't lose the Darius if you cast Tuner, right? Because you end up losing the Darius and I, by one I auto. For one more. So then you hit for two more. Yeah, one more unit, two more damage. Yeah. yeah. This castle didn't feel so out of place, but okay. I mean, what else can you play with the castle in? Yeah, not much. Unless you hit like a Taric. Good reposition. Nice. So again, just like watch what MF casts. Yeah. So it's it's like an extra second. So there yeah, so it's always always I would have could have won this fight, I think, if I had the tier on the uh MF. Yeah, right. It was, it was it was super close. Like one auto. That says a tier diff. Yeah, tier diff, that's right. So okay, I don't oh this is before the patch. Oh nice, you get a reforger as well? Fuck that's awesome. Yep. So it's that's definitely item grab bag. I, mean, I was I was thinking maybe weak spot here, but um, I mean weak spot isn't bad, but the item grab, especially with the reforger, I guess now after the patch, maybe you don't go for the item grab bag always. But oh shit, nice. So do you give her the tier now? <laughs> <laughs> What do we sell? Okay, we sold Tondo, who cares? Yeah, 
It's just so painful watching her ulti later than she could. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll see later on, like, itemization that I really like one of my weak spots, I think, just in general. So you didn't want to pick up the, the Scion for possible... I thought about it. it. Instead of pre leveling um, you could have just bought the Scion, right? Instead of, like, putting yeah. XP... I mean, gold into yep. XP for no reason at all. Uh, what do we want here? I think I just took Rod because I didn't want Tear. And that's all I could take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we wanted Chojin, I guess, for the MF. Okay, we hit a Yone. So now it's definitely Samira or Warwick over the Kassadin. I put it in for Poppy or for uh, um, ah, uh, whatever. I uh, it's, it's close. Uh, nice. You were position like this guy didn't move, and you moved like three times, and then you ended up in the same spot as when you first faced yeah. him. Holy shit! Look at that. Nice. Um. I guess itemization, yeah, here you can just hold off. Wow, nice. So, I think I play um, 4 Challenger here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're rolling? Yeah, why not? We're actually, wow, we're rich. Double Lux? Holy fuck. Yes, please. We're getting double Lux, right? Yeah, yeah, we buy double Lux. Wait, you didn't put the challenges in. I think I stood next turn, yeah. Wait, what do you... <coughs> what do you cut? Um, so you cut... Okay, you can cut... Yeah, I guess you have to cut more. But, like, you can cut the cast in for sure. And then you play Lux over MF. Hmm. Oh yeah, Bruno. No, I sell, I sell Lux pair here because I feel like my items are more for, like Yone. Okay, why not just play, like four Academy? I know it wasn't that good. I got a little, a little buffed, but like you could have just gone four Academy with with the Lux. Um, I just was thinking about it, but in hindsight, I probably should have. I mean, what do you do with the Jewel Gauntlet? That's that's my question. Uh, I reforge it later on. I think. So you can just play it on Lux until you hit um, Kaisa. Yeah. You missed the oh you missed the Fiora. I bought the Fiora. Um, like you should be okay. Okay, you are putting. Okay, that's not too bad. And you're making items. I would summon the Hodge as well. Blame Hodge on uh, Yone. Yeah. Okay. Cause like you're bleeding right now, you're bleeding a lot because you you haven't made any items. Yeah, and that's that's my mid game. Like I, I really like struggle with like transitioning and like I think I also um I greed too much for like best in slot and I just like, don't like. What are you greeting like, for right now? Decent. Um, I want the the glove to be um. Last whisper. But don't you have Hodge GA? So you pick up. I have the Hodge. Um. Hodge and you want to go for a GA, no? Because if, like, okay, so you get the bow, what the fuck are you doing with this shit? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm not saying Hodge is amazing, but it uses two no. items, and then you can use a GA or, or a Titans or whatever. Right, and, I, and I think that actually kind of... Yeah. So that kind of hurt me later, because I had, like, too many items components, like, that tier included, and just didn't know what to do with, like, any of them. Uh, exactly. It's about making... Decent items like best in slot is, is super fake. It's like a noob trap. You're like, oh my god, I need to have this exactly. Like, no, just slam whatever item you can. Like, yeah, Titans wouldn't be that great right now. You prefer having Runans, definitely. But Titans would have saved you a bunch of HP earlier. So you'd have more HP, you would have more gold, and other people would have less HP. I think in this game specifically, I don't think I lost that much HP from not having Titans. But you did lose right, some HP I, from not selling the tier, so like... 
Yeah. No, that's true. But because I only lost one round during stage uh, stage two. Okay. No, but I mean, okay. And afterwards, you. No, but you made the runes way, 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 way later. Yeah. Yeah. And now there's some confusion. Dude, oh god, you gotta roll. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe put the Last Whisper on then? Yeah, I Last Whisper Yone here, and then I, um... Well, do it? What the fuck? Okay. I do. I just <laughs> I just didn't, like, see it soon enough. <laughs> so you're... you're... You're praying for a last whisper, Yona. You hit it, and then you're still confused. Okay. Um, Seraphine, maybe? No. Um, it's always two star over one star. I would I would play the queen over Fiora. Yeah. Oh, but that was, that's a decent Fiora item, actually. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, okay, fine. He's level 8. He has On Guard. Yep. Rich get richer. And he had... Oh, by the way, why are you rolling to 50 instead of staying at 70? Oh, true. I didn't think about that, actually. I Yeah, that's right. I kind of just forgot that Rich Get Richer gives you that. I just use it for the, the 10 gold, but... I mean, I'm not saying that you should be at 50. You should fucking roll down even more. But it's like, if you're going to greed, you might as well greed at, at 70. Oh, I should have rolled I should have rolled more. Are you okay right now? You okay, haven't won a single so I, fucking round. I, yeah, and I and I think, like, the like um to contrast my early game, I think here I thought I was a lot stronger than I was, which is why I wasn't rolling. But you're losing, right? So, okay. yeah, yeah, um, like 50 gold is fake stage four. It's fake. Like stage four, you're rolling for a board. It doesn't matter yeah. whether you stay at 50 gold, 30 gold, zero gold. But like, especially if you're like in the bottom of the pack or like if it's this close, because I mean, obviously earlier you were like up here on, on four one. Holy fuck. You lost what? 37 HP, 47 yep. Yeah, but that's like six in, a row, six in a row. No, but here you lost... You went from 70 to 33. Yeah, 37 HP. And it's like... So, like, roll properly here. Like, roll for your two-star Yone. Roll for, for upgrades. Roll, for, like, put the Brahmin over over the Poppy and the Darius. Like... Do like I want to roll for, for Yone 2 here at level 7? Is that... Okay, there's two options. Either you go 8... Like what are you doing here? Like you, I go. You have you have enough gold to go eight on four two, or even after carousel. After carousel, like you're at seventy HP, you can go eight after carousel. Easy peasy. I do. Yeah, I go eight there after carousel. But why the fuck do you waste your gold then? Um, I don't know. I was just trying to like bleed less, I guess. But did you like? Did you actually like? You hit. What did you hit? Like the whole time, you hit a <laughs> Warwick. Much. You roll and hit Quinn, one fucking hit. Queen H you don't even play. You don't even play, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, either you're rolling and you actually need to upgrade your board and hit like a Yone 2 or Lucky Kaisa or a Fiora 2 or something, which is obviously unlikely, or you bite the bullet and you go 8. But here you wasted, I don't know, 20, 30 gold or even interest gold because you didn't go to 70. So even more gold and then you go to 8 anyway. But then what's going to happen on 8 is you're not going to have enough gold to roll. Most likely. So here it's... Yeah, I, I think I did hit. I went 8 and then hit, um, hit something. Hodge, 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 Hodge. What? what? Oh, I wanted, the, I wanted the Guardian Angel. But it's a 5 cost Hodge. Okay. 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 So you could have had at least 20 more gold. Oh, see? Much easier on 8. Uh, you definitely want to play 6 challengers here. 6 challengers here plus um, 
Braun and Leona. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Like you leveled up and you're still losing. So I think I think I made the wrong choice here. I just don't know what the correct choice was for this. Uh, that was fine. That's fine. Stay that, that's, fine. That's, it got buffed, so it's fine. Like this was pre-buff, though. I think. I know. I know. It's it's not, but but it's like makeshift armor. It's either makeshift or stand united. Okay. But you do want more damage, so stand united is not bad. Like you don't have any damage, right? You have no damage items at all. So. Yep. Here I think it's the right call. And your items are kind of spread out. I don't like the Darius, like the Brom just I think one star Brom has almost the same HP as Darius. I think I put Brom in here for Darius. I mean, okay, so look at the HP. Or like what what is your thought process behind keeping the the Darius in? And that I just like wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking like two star unit over one star unit, but eleven like, hundred HP. Yeah, like Brom Brom was much better than uh eleven hundred HP, two stars to two second stun. Yep. Yeah. And here we have 1170 HP and kind of whatever. This doesn't do anything in the late game. Yeah. So the stun, the stun is so much more important. Like the two seconds are so good here. And you can put those items on your two star Leona, right? Which is what I do here. It's Tarek. Tarek out. Jana. What? Wait, was that not not correct? Would you you need six challengers in there? Okay. Okay, so it's it's Oriana and um, Jana out for. Wait, do I have six challengers? You don't, but you should. You need to hit. Um... No, I, I I think I um I wanted to play six challengers, but I couldn't find any um. You, I mean, you're looking for Kaisa, challenges. which is five percent. You're looking for Camille, which is fifteen percent. So it's kind of unlucky yeah. on eight. But like you're not you're not playing the optimal version of the comp. That's what I mean. Nice, nice, looking decent. Yeah, Samira's better. What do we get? Okay. So it's stone plate and spawn. Oh, yeah, I get really confused here because I want to use the reforger, but I didn't know what like how to how to use it. But you have stone plate and spark. And uh shave. What, what do you why, why do you want to reforge? Um I don't really know what I was looking for. I just felt like my items weren't like weren't that great. Okay, stone plate is decent on Brom or Leona if you position correctly, right? Which that was my, my first thought was uh, was stone play. And Shiv is amazing because you're playing challengers, so they all have a really nice attack speed. Yep. So don't overthink it, right? And this is the time you should spend rolling instead of being confused, I guess, for future reference. And you get a Shiv anyway, nice. And yep, double Shiv. Blue buff and... Oh, I made I made ch I made chalice and then double shiv. But why not make chalice and titans then? Chalice and his titans. I don't know. The, the reroll seems like. I I mean I do understand that the archangels is kind of okay. This is not terrible, but blue buff on on Samira is fine too because she she can use it pretty pretty well. But what I don't like is the fact that you didn't really roll much. But yeah, the two star unit gives you a decent spike. And please don't put Yone in the front row. He's not a tank. Like, you don't want him to take take damage at all. Don't the bodyguards like taunt though? I thought they. Okay, they do, they do. I think, but not from backline damage. I'm pretty sure it's not from backline damage. Oh, okay. So like, the stuff in the front row will target them, I presume. I think you're, yeah, but you see how your is just getting shit on? 
Yep, and I actually, I backline him. Not backline, but I move him back for the next Second row, next exactly! Fight. Yes! And then, and then, and then I, I win that fight, because I put him second row. <laughs> there you go. Well, at least you're learning, that's good. I don't know why you have so much fucking gold, like, dude! Hello! I think I roll down here, most of my gold. You should have done that on 5-1, though. Yeah, and I, 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 I transition, like, and I roll, like, <laughs> like, way too slow a lot of times. You need to roll, like... Uh, four one five one, and then not roll like five one five two or four one four two, and then just roll down enough. But this is good. You somehow outposition the assassin guy, so Yone doesn't get shit on. It's nice. That's good. I think this was probably wrong. About the academy spatula. Uh, fuck. How do you want to play I that? Thinking, though? I, I was thinking I would hit um, um, who is it? Yumi. Yumi. Yeah. And then and then play Yumi for um. Yeah. Oriana. Why not? Right. You might as well hit Kaisa too, or Jace. That that's nice. Like, just don't expect to get a particular legendary. Well, I think, I think having, like, 40 gold level 8, I can expect to hit something, right? Is that not reasonable? Not... You can hit a legendary, but you're not going to hit a specific one. Okay. Okay. Because it's still, it's still 5%, right? So... Yeah, I just thought it was, I was rich enough to, like... The chance of hitting Yumi here, like, wasn't, like, super low. So they oh, the, that's... There's no way you're going to Yumi. Or, like, it's extremely low. Because, okay, so it's, uh... It's 5%, five, 5 right? Yep. So... To get it to 100, you need to see 20 units, so it's like, um, fuck, uh, divide by 5 again. So you need to see four, 4 full shops, so that's 8 gold. 8 gold for 1 legendary. Okay, and there's like, what, like, there's like 6 eight. legendaries? 8 legendaries. Eight. So if you want to, like, this is wrong math, obviously, but if you want to guarantee a particular legendary, you need to roll 64 gold. Okay. And it's not guaranteed, but it's like, it's very shitty math, but right. that's kind of yeah, like yeah, how you yeah. think about it. Because you're getting, you're getting one legendary every four shops, right? And then you want a particular one, so not every four, but every 32 you'll get the legendary you, you, you want. Yep. So here you can just take Morello for Braum, for example, or you can take Ionic Spark for Braum, or you can take... Uh, Redemption maybe for Leona, but the fights are kind of kind of quick. But yeah, like uh, I don't know if you could have taken the the Bramble Vest. No, you probably no, you can't take the Bramble Vest. But yeah, you you don't you don't expect to hit Yumi. Yumi. Like it would be nice if you hit Yumi, but then you just kind of if you don't hit, you just get upset that you didn't hit, and you're like, what is this? I didn't hit. That's bullshit. But even so, it's still not wasted though because like thank you they had me buff on on fewer is still like okay fewer too it's it, it's not nothing but it doesn't do much yeah so i was right our resident top challenger player just said that it's 32 rolls to guarantee a particular legendary see you got you saw some legendaries right you saw some of them you're not <laughs> dude, you're not hitting three star yone because they're okay, contested i was I was one off, and I and I figured from my spot, my only out was like hitting a three star Yone. Otherwise, I was like no way to. But I mean, you weren't you contested? What wasn't someone there's else playing? The, there's there's Yone. one Yone player. Yeah, so, like, so I would get yeah. like the last Yone in the pool. Exactly. So that's extremely unlikely. And there's oh fuck, there's a bunch of Kaisas as well. Yeah. And I mean, okay, so looking at this, how much is there, how much AD and how much AP is there? It's mostly AD, right? Um, I think it's it's pretty even, right? Seriously? Maybe. Okay, let's go over the boards again. I'll slow it down. AD. Uh, AP. Uh, oh, not yet. He doesn't have Igar yet, so it's still mostly AD. 
This is mixed. kind of this is kind of AP, yeah. And that was AD. Okay, as well. so mostly. So AD there's like well. like like one AP comp, okay. Yeah. So this is Oriana is a little bit o a o um AP, and this is like okay, but the Kaisa, but it's mostly the Yone. Yep. So like the the two enchanters don't really do that much. Yes, they are two star, but it's like. If you had two more challengers, you would be so much stronger. And I'm not, I guess, I maybe you never found him. Like, maybe you never found the Camille, so... Yeah, I didn't see Camille, I think, my entire, okay. like, roll down. It is what it is, then. See, so this guy, this is, um... I fought him again, and I, like, moved my Yone back one row, and I won the fight because of it. So this is yeah, this is better. Like once you protect your Yone a little bit more, it's good. Wow, you're lucky on the Yones. We put the. Wait, 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 um, there was definitely a way to get six challenger there, no? You just need a Warwick now. Yeah, but I didn't have Warwick. But, like, <laughs> you need to plan yeah. for this shit, like, you, I don't no, know. No, I know, I know. I no, do, like... I, I think that's, like, earlier in the game, like, I had figured that it was too hard to play six challenger, especially with my, um, two upgraded, um, uh, Oriana, Janna. So I sold the Warwick too. Okay. This is not not so bad. You hit the Kaisa like. It's I was I was so sad here. It's I a was fourth. so sad. No, it's not a four. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Okay. Okay. I'm so upset. So tell me your key takeaways, and then we'll we'll go over the second game and compare. So I guess um slam more items. Yep. Um, roll more gold, and then. Be more open to like early game boards, um, of what I can play. Because yeah. I guess like early game two, I kind of um, like tunnel too hard on like what I currently have and don't think about what I could have. So like, that's why like, I didn't see like the syndicate angle because I just was thinking, okay, I have like sniper on my board, so I'll play like sniper opener, like sniper like backline. Yeah. Um, so it just like that's that's the crazy thing. Like the, the the better the player, the more compositions they have up their sleeve, and like. They play these random ass boards and they just they just work. Yep, and I think I kind of did that a little better um, in the next game. Okay, but that that's kind of like the the main thing. And so yeah, here that was the syndicate thing, and then you get the seven here, which is kind of cool. And you okay, so why are you holding Lux is here? Like, you either make the decision uh, that you're gonna play Lux or that you don't play Lux, because then you end up well, selling her the next round. So this was the turn before creeps, and I figured like at this stage I my items could either go into Lux or Yone. And then I hit Yone items here, so I sold the Luxes. But if I got like like tier, you know, um sword glove, I could have played um Lux instead. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. That's that's really smart. Okay. But like here it's like okay. So here you either don't roll, like you can put in Lux over over the MF. Which activates Academy. Yep. And this board is kind of whatever. But the board you end up playing, like, let's see how many times you roll. One roll, two roll, three roll, four roll. So you only roll, so that's eight gold. That's not terrible. So that's eight gold rolled. Yeah, this is just kind of slow. So you did end up, okay, so 10, 12. You got a little bit stronger. You rolled 12 gold. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 24 gold. And how much stronger, okay, so this is your board right now. 
Yep. Challenger Academy Bodyguard. Okay. Is it? I think it's it's just the Warwick two, maybe Samir two. Like, is it really that no. much stronger than if you just played Lux here? Uh, that's probably weaker. <laughs> right? It's probably weaker than if you just played Lux here. Uh, sorry, like Lux and Leona, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, you chill, and you go 8, and you roll an 8. Because rolling on 7, it just doesn't feel that good. You should roll a bit more on 6, and then just try to go 8, if you can. Oh, should I just, like, sack until, like, after carousel, and then roll, like, roll down? Like, you should roll a little bit on 6 to stabilize, which I don't think you did at all. And then try to go 8. Okay. Because the odds on 7 are just bullshit, to be honest. Yep. Well, and I think I would have rolled less, but I had um, the Yone pair. But it's, I think I hit few. And I think I hit the Aura pair as well. But then it's just like, okay, then you roll like roll more. Okay. Is it cheat cheat or no? It's not cheat cheat. Um, guys, I think it's in guys. Where the fuck is it? Um, <laughs> re roll. It's re roll. Sorry. There we go. Found it. Right, so rolling on six doesn't feel so bad, because you can get two costs and three costs. That's why, like, it's not terrible to roll on three, two, on six. Yeah, and I, think, I, I think I did roll some gold on yeah, three, maybe, two. Yeah, maybe you did. Sorry, like, if, if you did, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I don't think you did. I still felt pretty strong there. So yeah, I, you, I, I mean, to, I, you didn't need to. Yeah, you didn't yeah. need to. That's fine. Like, you didn't need to do it this game. And then, seven is kind of whatever. Because it's like, this is worse. This is like, okay, this is the same. This is the same. This is kind of, okay, it's three times as much. But, like, not that many forecasts are going to appear anyway. Right? So then yep. you want to go over here, where you don't care about two costs anymore. Maybe some three costs are fine. They're essentially the same. But if you're rolling for four costs, you want to roll here. But it's still a 40% increase. Yeah. And again, like, it's, it's like, mathematical. So it's like, if you have... And that's, that's the crazy thing. If you have 100 gold, it's better to have 50 shops times 15%. Fuck. Sorry. 50 shops times 15%. You get 7.5 uh, four costs, right? Compared to 25 shops at 25%, you get fewer four costs. Yep. So if you have 100 gold, you can roll on seven and you're more likely to hit than on eight. Yeah, and, and I, usually I wouldn't have rolled so much on seven, but like I was trying to just hit any two star, just to get a little bit stronger, and I hit like the um, Yone pair, Fiora pair. I thought I could like two star one of them, and then like spike pretty hard. And then do it. Like I'm showing you, like rolling on seven, the odds of getting a four cost, these things intersect and meet at like 120 gold or some shit like that. Okay. If you if you're gonna roll 100 gold on seven. You're more likely to hit if you're looking just for four costs than if you're looking for like legendaries. Obviously, you're not gonna get, but you can get more four costs. Well, so okay, in this game, then like, when would I have stopped rolling? Let's say I did roll for Yone two, if you were two. When you hit and them, and I don't, and when I don't you hit, hit them. I'm at, I'm at like I'm at twenty gold. And I don't have anything. Do I just roll to zero or do yeah. I? Okay, so that like okay. that's. I feel like I mean, I'm just going like going eight though. If I if I roll a zero here and don't hit you, you get like anything. <laughs> okay, then why do you, like why do you roll like? The correct play here is save your gold and go 8. Okay. Or roll until you hit 2-star Yone. But rolling, what was it, 24, 26 gold to get a fucking Warwick 2 and a Quinn which <laughs> I don't think you play, like, that's garbage, right? That's just 20... I got a, bra I got a Braum too, but oh. I didn't play that either. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, the, the value of the gold you spent, it's much better spent on 8 if you're going to go 8 anyway. Like, yep. if you, you either decide, I'm staying on 7 forever this game, and that's fine. 
Or you're like, okay, I'm going to go 8. So I'm not going to roll because I'm at 70 HP. I can go 8. And then okay. you end up losing every single round anyway. Yeah, yeah. I lose so much apart, HP. Apart from this one, right? Which is where I, I believe you hit your... Or here you... My 2 start. yeah. But like, yeah, your board was not that amazing. So, yeah. But somehow you, you lose this round and you win the next one. So that's like... That's like not rolling. And then, then the same shit happens here. The same shit happens here that you're not rolling. I think here I was just so dizzy with my eyes. I had no idea to do with them. And I like couldn't think about rolling because I was just like so confused trying to worry about like what should my items be. But it's like this easily could have been a top four had you rolled more on 5-1, definitely on 5-2. Like you should not oh, yeah, be at that's, that's... 30 gold here. That's what I was saying earlier, like I definitely like threw pretty hard this game because for based on like my opener, it easily like top three. Yeah. Exactly. But I just made a lot of like mistakes. Yep. But it's it's mostly about not making items and not rolling at the right intervals. Okay. So let's load into the second game and see if you make more items and if you roll better. And we're gonna do this a little bit faster because we have like uh, twenty minutes left, so let's do it. A little faster, you start armor as well. And we're just gonna look we're just gonna look for the patterns. Like if if it's a I, I presume it's a recurring pattern, but but I mean that's why like I can't choose which game is better because like I would need to see ten ten okay shit you're AFK. I was in the bathroom by the way. I was AFK. <laughs> oh, just do it before the game. Like get your water, get your So here it's it's definitely Ezreal. We get that. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, it's Brawlers. It's, it's Bruiser still here, right? I'm pretty sure it's New York Root. Why would you lock into a comp here? Uh, that's a joke. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 seriously, with, with Zack, it's not the worst. Like, now that you get a Zack with it, it's not completely terrible. Are oh, you get Zack now with it? Yep. Oh, that's nice. And, oh, shit, it's not so You get two... You get two Bruiser spatulas. Oh, you get the en oh, okay. Or emblems. You get the two emblems and you get a Zack. So oh, it's and not. Zach? Yeah. So it's not that as obvious. Really good, actually. Because now it's like fucking obvious. Cyber, what the hell is that garbage? Bruisers. Yeah. Why would you commit to Bruisers? New recruit is the best. But now it's like okay, you get two emblems with Bruisers, so you can make some strong Bruisers like a uh, Vex Bruiser or. Uh, uh, Swain Bruiser or like any other tank or Brom Bruiser or Yumi then, Bruiser which is broken and you get a Zack so it's like you're gonna have four Bruisers almost guaranteed on 2-1 on like there's a Vi and Trundle you just need to hit so at 1-4 isn't New Recruit still better than that though like after it's been buffed isn't like it's still New Recruit it, it's much 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 closer like based on your items if you have if you have Bramble Vest I think Bruiser Soul is, is better okay I mean that's that's just me personally. Like maybe maybe it's not. Maybe it is new recruit, but it's like just it's not as obvious now. That's why they buff the the plus two plus two of everything. Yep. Uh, the fuck whatever. They're not called solids anymore. They're called crowns. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's definitely Talon because he's OP. Yep. Yep. Or at least he can kill he can kill shit, which is the most important thing you care about. Yeah, this is bullshit. I don't I really don't know what, what's stronger. But let's see what I, I think they're like Swain is definitely better. Yeah, I'll play Swain. Yeah. Nice, nice. Again, not summoning Titans. I, I play I play the um Last Whisper? I don't like with that yet, so I just play the bow. But Last Whisper is decent enough and Titans is decent too. My shop here is kinda of nutty. <laughs> That's not a bad job. Not a bad job at all. You still play I play the town. What? Oh, I want to get um get innovators in. And I forgot I forgot that I had like the level up or um the new recruit. So I could play five units. Instead of just playing the timeout. Okay, well happens. 
Yeah, okay. So emblems, like, just be aware of your emblems. That's that's a recurring trend as well. Because last game it was the 70 gold. This game it's the new recruit. But, yeah, so that's... I mean, this is just... I'm, I'm old as well. I fuck it up all the time. So it's it's fine. My, my... So what were you saying there? Um, uh, the, the recurring thing with the emblems, uh, with the augments. Because last game you, you kind of forgot about your augment as well. So Oh, oh yeah. Happens to me as well. Like, I'm old, I, I forget stuff. So, yeah, but it's just like, chat laughs at me. It's like, you just got exiles. Why did you not move your units for three rounds? I'm like, oh, exiles, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I should get them to to, <laughs> to get shields. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess here it's Bramble or Last Whisper. Okay, Bramble. Nice. Nice. Um, oh shit. Very aggro. I like it. So here instead of, instead of chilling on 20, you, you level up. Just to make sure you keep win streaking. Good, good, good. Rewarded with, with your dolls. Oh, this was Lissandra probably over. Um... Holy shit. How? Okay. Lissandra gives you cam tech and Lissandra's a way better unit than Zyra. Yeah, I, I put Lissandra in later. I think I just didn't. I think I buy her too. But again, fuck your econ because it's uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. With Lissandra, you're 20. It screws your econ. If you played Lissandra here, you could sell. So you get down to 11, and then you have 9 on the bench, which you sell, and you get to 20. Yep. So it's kind of like... So it grieves your board. Your board is weaker. <coughs> and... Uh, and you can't make Econ, because... Yeah, oh, yes, I didn't. You can't buy the... You can't buy her. Yeah. Um, wait, what? I missed... Okay, I missed gold. My bad. So you couldn't have bought her anyway. Okay, so you, you outplayed me. Yeah. If you played the Sandra over the Zara, you would not make 20 there. Okay, that's fine. You'd have to sell Zillion. Honestly, I would probably sell Zillion to play the Sandra, but that's just because she, she, she seems kind of broken to me. Um, what do we have? Yeah, here yeah, here we went to the Sandra. If not, then we I guess we play the Zack, right? Or some shit like that. I think I play Zack. Sneaky level up. Love it. Dead level six as well, windfall, of course. High tempo lobby. Um, here you can make 30, right? I don't. You don't care about? Okay. Um, I mean, it's this is preferable. I, I had two pairs on bench. Oh, just one pair. Pers just one pair, just personal preference, but you, you never want to play. But now you have, Um, what is this? This should be, yeah, there's not much else. You, you could probably you could probably play the Vex over the, the Zyra. Yeah. <coughs> for more front line. Uh, or you can just play the Zillion for corner like for corner bait. You cannot have you cannot have Heimer here because he has three range, so he's gonna have to walk around a lot. You should swap Heimer and Zyra. Okay. Um yeah, he shouldn't be in the corner because he has three range, so he's gonna walk a lot. See? Okay. You see how much walking yep. he does? That's just about the range. Um Easy peasy. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, Stead United now is better, but before it was just two. I think here it's hyper roll, no? So I didn't want that because I felt like I like already had a lot of gold, and I, I didn't really want to, like... I don't know. But here, with hyper roll, all. you go seven. You insta go seven. Yeah. Like, you already have a 7 win streak with Hyper Roll. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm going 7, and I can go 8 on Wolves. You're going to be level 8 yeah, on Wolves. But, yep. I was also expecting to play, like, a pretty, like, like wide late game board with a lot of treats anyway. And I thought this, like, scaled better to late game. Mm. Okay, but, like, Hyper Roll gets you a lot more power right now. Yeah. Because this gives you, what is it? Um, like, 12. Eight. Six, eight. Eight. It's two it's two per Yep. So it gives you eight AD, eight AP? Mm, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Instead of instead of being able to instantly level up and roll, like you can level up and roll here for uh, Lucky Jace or a Seraphine. Yep. Or at least an Echo, for example, or like any Assassin or like another Vex or something. So you can put that in over over Hymer or Zyra or something, please. I put it for Zyra. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you, okay, so Heimer, you don't swap. Oh shit, you go to 50? Okay, why not? Like, yes, you're at 50. Yes, this is good. But if you're playing against stronger people, like this is what you're saying mid diamond right now? Yeah. But if you're like, if you're going for master lobbies, they're, they're probably going to play stronger boards as well. So it's going to yeah. be harder. Obviously, you want the Seraphine, but it's going to be gone. Everything's gone. So, I thought about um, Oriana there. Here, but, I'm a little bit intrigued. Can you explain the the belt here? So, I thought it was like just more flex, like more frontline. I wasn't sure like what comp I was playing yet. But I, I, I it was it was close. And I think if I had more time to think about it, I would take an Oriana. But like I just didn't have time to really process what I wanted. You had... The whole the whole carousel to think about it. You had like a minute to think about, like thirty seconds minimum. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that too. I just wasn't like wasn't sure. But okay, so it's it's definitely sword here because you already have you already have bramble and declaw, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's like sword lets you get, build a giant there or or ie. So I think your itemization might be a little bit scuffed here, and it's a four cost instead of a two cost. Um, here I would probably go seven roll a little bit, unless you are one hundred percent sure you can win. I think I don't when I lose. I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, like, okay, so again, simple math. How much is it to level? Twenty-eight, right? Yeah, twenty-eight to level. Yep. So yep. that's uh, you don't care about the twenty-eight, so it's eighteen or rather fourteen. So you lose to interest. So you can get to 30 gold. Um, yeah, you can get to 30 gold. So you can you can, I, you can level and you can roll like once or twice. Yeah. Because how much is eight win streak per round? That's three gold, right? Three gold. So even if you get down to 20 and you guarantee the win streak, you're essentially at 50. Yep. And you're doing more damage to everyone else. That's yep. like the, the, the flip side was like, not only are you preserving HP, preserving your streak, but you're doing more damage. So you played... I might level here. I'm not sure if I... I mean, here it's... Oh my god, here it's so obvious. You, you level... And you can even roll a little bit. Nice! Okay, yeah. Yep. So you put in Camille, and you can... Uh, you can greet it at... It's Camille. You can greet it at 50 or just roll for like two star blitz or no, it's Camille. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Okay. <sighs> How much HP does, does blitz have? Uh, not that much. That's like, like three bars, so like 800 or some shit like that. Even with that. Yeah. How much does that have? 700? Yep. So the shield you're getting is... It, yeah. 20% of that, so it's like 300 HP shield. Yep. Or Clockwork, which is like 14 attack speed for everything. And I think I knew that too. I just I just did the wrong thing. Like, okay. Okay. So it's like, do you want a team-wide buff or do you want a right. no, one-star yeah. blitz buff? So, yep. so maybe like, maybe you didn't even need to level up here to, to win here. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Your lobbies are a little weak. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, here it's like you can probably sell the Blitz anyway. It, it, it's, it depends. I mean, there's no... It's not wrong to keep the Blitz. Oh, double <laughs> Yeah. What? Okay, so why are we rolling here? This I don't fucking understand. Why roll oh, here? You just, can just go 8. Just because I had gold and I could afford it, and I didn't want to go 8 yet. I should have... But this is like a fast 8, if not a fast 9. Like, yes, yeah, you hit the double gin, yeah. but it's... Like, you hit the double gin, but it's wrong to roll here. Please remember that. No, I, yeah. So, how would I have 
gone fast eight from the spot? Like, what would I? Like, when would I have gone to eight? Um, if you're win streaking four two, if you if you stop the streak, you can do it on four five or four seven. Okay. It's like you have hundred HP. Do you need hundred yep. HP to win the game? No. You need one HP to win the game, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So like. Remember the last game you were at 70, you bled to like 20? So like yeah, next yeah. stage, you're at 100. You can bleed to like 30. You're going to be at 30 yep. for sure. If you like, if you sell your whole fucking board, you're still probably going to be at like 20 HP by the end of the stage. So you're chilling. Which means you should always fast 8 here. Right? There's like there's no need to roll for anything right right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you want to roll at the start of the stage, but like now it's like you would have to roll kind of deep to maintain your streak. If you want to maintain your streak, you... Oh shit, we still had... <laughs> what the fuck is this? We still had the random Twitch. Cool. Oh yeah. Well, it's for Chemtech. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not, not too bad. Okay, you just... <laughs> so this is like yeah. extreme high roll, high roll, but it's, yep. it's a really bad play. Like... Mathematically, it's a really bad play. You, yeah, you got yeah. rewarded, but like, this will happen. Uh, fuck. What was that? Two shops? Two shops, we start Jin? Yeah, this will happen. At like, level seven? Like, like once, once? Once per set? Maybe like, no, like once in somewhere between 50 and 100 games. So this is. Like, this is wrong, just so you know, like, this is wrong. And I, I, yeah. I knew it was wrong too, and I knew that I like high rolled really hard. Okay, okay. So now I I hope you regret not having the the sword. Oh, you did, nice, yeah. nice, Kogma. Yeah, why not? So th I mean, okay. So this is perfect. This is like the most ideal situation, which, as I mentioned, might happen like once in a hundred games. But you shouldn't yep. have rolled on seven. So I'm just I'm just saying that. So what do we do here? Brom, sure, finally, that's nice. And we're not rolling. Okay, we're, I mean, you don't have to put gold in, but it doesn't really matter right now. You're, you're super, super capped. As you can see, Trap Claw, you should have had it next to Jin, right? Yeah, I was just thinking about it because it's a scrap, I, yeah. But. I mean, it can happen, so just like, Yep. I try to keep uh, swords and gloves and stuff like that somewhere where it can benefit. Like if you if you hit something like a, a Zeke's or a Chalice or um, fuck Solari, yeah, Lucky Little Solari. So like any of those unit, like any of those items. So just like having the option, right? So, I mean, here you're probably not going to get a sword. Okay, you... F Why the fuck not? Yeah, I told you I like... <laughs> for high roll game. Why the fuck not um, give you a sword, man? Yeah. I think this is a mistake here, not taking out... Um, uh, Ezreal for the... Vinity Edge. But I wanted to keep Innovators in. What the fuck does Innovators do? What does I, Innovators do? Because you see a little skull crab on <laughs> Like, what does it do for you? Yeah. Like, okay, it gives you a little bit more damage because you have the the augment. Okay, I'll give you. I mean, that. I get I get scuttle, I get um scrap, I get the value from Saint United, and I get the um like the the scrap value. Clapio's gone. I mean, it's yeah. Well, I'm curious if I made the right choice here. Um, what would you have taken at this? High end chopping, hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Right now, I'm scouting. Seven minutes playing Jin because then I can just go for like easy, like three star Jin from high end chopping. Yeah, that's almost like thirty five percent is really fucking amazing. Yeah. 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 Now, we're, now we're chilling. Yeah. I lose this because the luck just one shots my entire team. <laughs> Without blue buff, damn. 
what the like this is this kind of is the frustrating thing in diamond or like anywhere below like why are there so many items over there's a fucking giant slayer and there's yeah. an ionic spark like what the fuck why don't you put it on yeah. the swain why don't you have the giant slayer on the lux you have an item remover what the fuck is this like you're waiting like you're waiting for this item and that item and every option oh fuck that's frustrating that is a little frustrating yeah Good. I mean, I think that could have been the difference. Uh, eh, maybe because like he was just got one shot anyway. I'm not sure if uh, it might have. Oh, nice. Yeah, static shift. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Okay, this is uh, what are you hitting? There's the there. There was the the. So this could be could be wrong. What? <laughs> well, why don't you just put it on the list? What the fuck? Like, okay, do you know how many items there are? Seriously. These are all of the items. Yeah, yeah. How many of these items are better than Spark? Um, not, not many. Actually. Like, what is it? It's, it's like, fuck, it's a, it's a confusing grid because it's 8 by 8. But I think yeah. there's like, um, it's not 64, but there's like 32 items, is it? Just 32? I think it's 32 items, at least. Right, 64, but you divide by two because the items repeat themselves, so yep. 32 items. Minus the spatula items, because I couldn't get a spatula. Um, wait, I think it's two, four, six, eight. I think it's, yeah, it's 32 without the spatulas, yeah. Okay. okay. So it's 16 items. Right? So are there 16 yep. better items than Spark? Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, six, seven, maybe. But then, okay, eight, like, there are nine, like, they're not that many bad ones, like, but it's like, Spark is decent, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not even like, but what if, like, what if you get, like, a complete shit item that you can't really use? I think I could have used anything here, though. Like, I don't think there is anything that would have been, like, like how do you use a, a Shave or a Shoujin or a Hexstack or Solari, give... like... I think am I uh, MF can use any of those items. Shiv, Shoujin, Hextech wouldn't be okay. terrible on MF. But I mean, Liss, Spark is completely fine in my opinion. Yeah, and I thought I just didn't want to sell my um, sell my Heimerdinger, and I didn't think that. So why didn't you put know. the rod on him in the first place? Oh, that was way earlier in the game when he was. I just wanted to use an item, okay. just not have it wasted. So last game you had a tier lying there the whole game, and this time you had to. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know why, like, what is this fucking board anyway? What is this board, bro? That guy's board? Your board! Or my board? Oh my, what is what's with my board? I think it's pretty good. Like, why are we playing Heimer? Why are um, we not playing, like, we should roll down a little bit and hit, like, uh... Like, it's... Uh, here it's, it should be, if there aren't any assassins, it's probably... Oriana over Zillion, and then you can cut Heimer for Yumi or, um, Janna. I don't think you need to play two of these. Maybe like a Jace or some other front line, like another Brom or something. Okay, there we go. Leona, Leona, Leona. Okay, Leona and Brom. Just I, I would just you can just play double Brom of this shit actually. Instead of instead of double Jin, I would play double Brom. Play two Brahms later. later yeah. Because I think I think that and the, you want the Leona over. You're not playing that. That's garbage. I don't think you're ever playing. Oh, nice. Ever playing Galio? I thought if I hit two star Galio with like those items, it would have been like pretty good, especially. Yeah, with, um... I, I tried. It's just not not that amazing. Um, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I'm happy with this. And I think I get one shot here again by the by the Lux. <laughs> so you want uh, Janna in? Maybe that'll help a little bit. But yeah, this. Oh my God, this sucks as Archangels as well. Yeah, that's really strong. I mean, it's relatively close. What should it be here? Okay. Um, wait. I I didn't know what I wanted to take in this this carousel. But I feel like there weren't any better options than um than that. Um, you can just take a jewel gauntlet. 
What you do? Yeah, for Jin. Yeah, it's good enough. Oh, for Jin? Yeah, why not? It gives him more, more crit, more crit, more better. No. I give it to MF. <laughs> so you don't want a third item. Oh, no, I give it to. Oh, what? You don't want a third item on your Jin. So it's. Plus... I was greeting. I was greeting for the uh, the dragon item because I feel like I was like healthy enough to not have to like do that. Mm, yeah. Okay. Fair point. But it's like um, the dragon item might not be a gin item either. And I had no idea where that last whisper would go. Okay. Just stack your crit. Just put it on Oriana. Like put it both on the same yeah. unit, right? Oh wow. Well. Okay. Fine. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, but this was way too close. If you had the jewel gone on the gin, it guarantees the win because like he would actually do more damage, right? Yep. Because he yep. almost he almost kills the Galio. But if he had the Jewel Gauntlet, he does enough crit, I think, to kill him. So that was way too close. No, we, we want... We want that. Um, yeah, we don't care. I didn't want to accidentally have him... There we go. That's exactly what I want. What the fuck is this? Oh, this guy is just... <laughs> just pissed off. <laughs> he really wanted hit. Jace 3. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He could have yeah. just sold the Seraphine as well, I guess. But yeah. It is what it is. Titans, I hope you put the Titans on the gin. Yep. I wasn't sure, should I have tried to go 9 this game? Why? I mean, okay, so um, here, okay, um, actually, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, here, you have enough gold to go 9. After Carousel, you can go 9. I think I was just rolling. I wanted to hit um, either Braum 3 or Jace 2. So the question is here... Uh, do you think these guys can survive for three rounds? And they probably can. So, going nine here lets you put in uh, another good unit like a Jace. Right? A Jace or even a fucking Lulu. Yeah. If you have yeah. problems, problems with the Lux guy, you put in a Lulu. Like, hitting Braum, like, it's, it's close. Like, either you hit Braum 3, which is not bad. I, I don't think rolling here... Like, you're already fucking 9 anyway, right? So it's like... Yep. Like, you would get better odds on 9 because you're technical level 10. But... It just... Yeah, it's it's good that you thought about it. Like, <laughs> you thought about it and Titans is better than, than Jude Gauntlet. That's good. Um, I still think Jude Gauntlet on MF is way better because she actually does damage while Orianna is more of a support. But that's your call. And yeah, but this is, this is fine. Uh, no, 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 no. Jace 1 is not stronger than, than Brum 2. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're right. Nice! We're stacking the, the crits together. Yay! Yep, yep. I still think it would be nicer on MF, but holy shit. Look at... See? The Jin actually does enough damage to... Galio now. Oh, yeah. With the, with the Titans. I mean, here you could have just locked, no? Wait, what? No! Oh, okay. Wait, wait, is that, that's not correct? I mean, aren't you looking for for, for Braum 3? I figured the game was almost over anyway, and Jace 2 is, like, really strong, and those were good items. Okay, I, I mean... I would have waited. Like, okay, so, like, right now you have so much HP. And Braum 3 is, like, another huge spike. Yeah, I mean, I just thought that, like, Jace, Jace 2 with those well, items Jace was 2 enough is to better. carry me to, like, the first place. And... I mean, Jace 2 is better than Braum 2, for sure. But... Braum 3... If why is it not Braum... Yeah, but Braum 3 is insane. Six seconds done. Yeah. So, like, I mean, you win anyway, but it's... You can do that. You can do that after Carousel. You can do it on stage seven, essentially. You can do this okay, on stage okay. seven, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and oh, I do like the the Caitlyn for Enforcer. Yep. Nice for more synergies. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I held that Caitlyn all game just because I hit. I hit. Um, yeah. Jace. 
Yeah, that's, that's smart. Well done. Oh, well, fuck, locks three. Yep. Okay, never mind. Easy peasy. Yeah, nice. Like, here you, you could have just leveraged your HP, right? Yeah. You could have leveraged your HP to hit Brom 3. That's kind of what I what I uh, would suggest. Okay, wait, was there anything? Okay, so the, the rolling... Did we roll here? We, we... Oh yeah, we rolled here even though we didn't have to roll. Yeah, as I mentioned. And I got like, super lucky. You got super <laughs> lucky. And then you preserved HP. I mean, sorry, you preserved gold and you're slowly leveling up. Oh, by the way, um, one of the reasons you shouldn't just put gold into XP, do you have, do you have a, oh, but you went eight. Okay, so yeah, here it's fine. But if you, if you get um, level up, like if you're winning this hard, you can just, just greed for level up. Is that, is that really viable to do though? Greed for level up? Right. Because the chance of getting it is, is like so low. Um, it's just, it's just a thought, like, keep that in mind. Like, if you, if you're going to level on 4-5, then it's fine. But if you're going to level on 4-7, then don't buy XP. That's like the okay. only, only minor thing. Cause like, you just get punished for it. Yep. And you don't like, you gain nothing from buying XP earlier. Yeah. It's just. I think, I mean, this game just kind of played out itself. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, like you, you didn't make the right play, honestly, like. Rolling there was unnecessary, but you got extremely rewarded, so it happens. Yeah. But you could have just spent 10 gold rolling and gotten nothing. Or, like, gotten, like, uh, whatever random Scion in your shop, and that's it. So, yeah. So, just, like, the rolling intervals and the slam slamming items. Um, I mean, I'm not upset about the perfect frontline items, but... I would have liked more backline items, like if you had gotten the sword. Yeah. Um, no, and you're right. I just again, I like I like to prioritize frontline because I think it's more flexible. And I wasn't committed to anything yet, and I could like okay. getting the belt there. I could have played still like any cop in the game, whereas the sword I like more limited. So I mean, yeah, that does take you more into the AD tree. You're right about that. So I guess it did keep you a little bit more open. So yeah, any anything you wanna discuss? Um. Yeah, so I think like mostly from last game, like when I was bleeding out a lot. What should I should I like rolled like rolled more gold there? Is that is that like the correct play? I thought we we covered that. It's like. You need to know why you're rolling. I think that's the main issue. Well, I, I knew why I was rolling. I was rolling for, for Yone 2 Fiora 2. One of the two. So then roll for them. Don't stop at 50. Okay, but I, I also didn't want to like like grief my econ. So then don't roll on 7. But I so I could have but I was rolling staying above 50 gold. So I thought I could like just like roll above 50 and not hurt my econ but still like have a chance to hit like a like upgrade unit. Which did absolutely fucking nothing for you and cost you 30 gold. It did nothing, but it could have done something, I think, right? Like, But you should, like, you should roll, like, on stage 4, you should just roll for the unit. Okay. Like, you were at 70 HP on 4-1, so it's like, you, you might as well go 8. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm desperate, if I'm at, like, 40 HP, then I'm rolling on 7, I'm like, fuck it, I'm staying on 7 this game, I'm playing for, like, a top 6, top 5. So, so I guess I guess my question would be that it's it's in, it's just like always incorrect to like I guess slow roll for upgraded um, four cost units on level seven. Like you should just never do that. So I think I tend to do that a lot where I'll like hit seven for and four then, cost, like, for, like not like you use slow lowering on eight for for three star gin, which was correct last, like this game. That yeah, was, but that was I mean I that, had um that is the right play. I was eight and I had high on chopping. No, the, yeah. I think that was sure, but I think like I was slow rolling on seven for. Um, Yon, if your was incorrect, right? Well, if you're okay, if you're winning, whatever, like then it's fine. 
Okay. But if you're losing and your board is garbage or like very weak, then it's more important to stabilize. Okay. Like imagine you, like okay, let's let's just quickly go over it since this this is uh, something that that's confusing you. Imagine. Oh, can you can you go to the point where I actually like before I start losing, like right after? That's right I... here. That's right here. Well, so before, what, okay, what would you, you do losing. here when like you were coming off before a you start losing and now like and now you start losing? Would you like are you trying to like fast eight from here? Like wait until um. Oh shit, you rolled here as well? Oh, you did roll here as well. Like, this is just... Uh, so you didn't even waste 30 gold, like, you may, maybe waste even more gold. Like, here it's just fucking... Okay, you either decide to pull the trigger and hit something. Like, okay. So, you hit 7 here. Yep. This board is not strong enough. Okay, and this is like coming off of like me being like pretty strong and now I'm like weak. This is like, okay, uh, this, this board sort of fizzled out. Yep, yep. So, you're at 88 HP. You're at 50 gold. It's kind of obvious. You get 10, 20, 30, you may, might even get more gold here because it's whoops. So like, let's say 40 gold, 50 gold, 60 gold. Easy level up on 4-2. If you don't roll at all, easy level up on 4-2. So is that what you're planning here? Like, if this is your game, you're planning to like, just like level to eight on four two and then roll for three to four cost. I would probably even greet it to to four five because I want to have like fifty gold to roll. Okay. Or, or you're like, fuck it, I want to keep winning, and then you have to roll here, but it's it's much harder to roll here. Okay. Like, so my, my problem this game then wasn't that I bled too much HP; it's that I wasted too much gold. Would you would you agree with that? Like. Because like, I was thinking that I, I went fifth this game because my mid game was too weak, and then I like bled too much and I couldn't like restabilize. But you are saying that I went like fifth because I spent too much gold rolling on stage three. On stage like... three five, you 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 spent gold for for like almost nothing. That's for nothing. that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not like I'm I'm cool if you're rolling here like. Like, if you decide, I'm going to roll, you buy the Samira, you have the Yone, and you're like, <coughs> okay, you didn't roll here. Oh, you didn't, and then you started rolling here, which was like, what the fuck are you doing? That's why I was, like, confused. Like, this is the, the inting play. So I guess, I guess my, like, incorrect perception was that if I'm above 50 gold at any point, I'm, like, free to, like, roll whenever I want. I guess that's, like, that's why that's I That's complete this. garbage, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Because, like, you want to have... You need to know what you're rolling for, like, why you're doing the things you're doing. It's not like, oh, I'm above 50, I can roll. Like, Well, I knew, I knew why I was doing it, though. I had a reason. But the reason it was, like, been, maybe I hit wrong. a Yone too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, you can do this on stage 2 and stage 3, or, like, early, early on 3-2. But then, like... <coughs> let's say this is still the mid-game... But you're already level seven, so you're you're no longer in the mid game. You're like in the early late game, okay. right? You you hit your late game earlier than everyone else, essentially, because you because you level to seven. But now it's like you're not you can't roll on seven for your late game comp. So you're rolling for like an upgraded mid game comp, and it's kind of that's where it falls apart. Yeah. Okay. So like here, and first of all, it's three six, so there's no point rolling whatsoever. Like, this round makes no difference. So then, like, rolling here was dumb. Um, I think you... Yeah, rolling here was also pointless. Or, like, you hit something. And then rolling here was kind of whatever. Because, like, you're still sticking to 50 gold. It's extremely stubborn, right? Like, yep. staying at 50 gold. Because, like, right now, it's like, okay. Either I want to be on 7, which is the wrong play in this case. And I want to spike on seven, like properly spike with two star Fiora, two star Yone, and maybe a Brom, or like two star Brom, whatever. Or I use my HP and econ advantage, and I go eight, and I roll a little bit later. Okay. But like you just wasted thirty-ish gold, or maybe more than thirty, maybe even more than forty, because you rolled on three six, you rolled on three seven. Like you're just wasting gold all this way, and then you get to eight here, and it's like, 
you have no fucking gold to roll, right? So yep. imagine if you had... If I'd you be had, at like 50 gold here. 50, 50 gold, gold here. here. Like, yes, exactly. Like, here you high roll yeah. again. I don't know how, how you fucking do this, but you high roll the Yone <laughs> right away. But imagine with 20 gold, you, you're not guaranteed a Yone. Like, yep. you can just roll 20 gold and not hit Yone at all. And it's like, oh, shit, well, I rolled on 7. I didn't hit, and now I don't have enough gold to roll on 8 to hit properly. So it's like... Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then, um, I guess my last question is, like, like items, like, mid-game, I guess. What should I, like, can you go back to, like, stage three? A little later. Like, like... So here it could like have been Bramble. Stage, like, F? Yeah. But, I mean, here you don't, uh, you don't make items here. Like, you make, okay, so you make items when you no, get I guess, items. I guess, I guess stage four is where I want to be, like, where we were looking earlier. Yeah, you want to make after, items on three one. You don't really need to make items after carousel unless you get like the ideal component for something. And then you want to make items this, on four one. This is where I was really confused. Is right here. What should I have like been doing with these items on bench? Okay, so it's. Like that depends what you're what you're gonna play like. You can just. I think can, I'm pretty. I, th I think I'm pretty committed to like challengers at this spot. Like from this spot, it could have. It still could have been Lux, like a Ionic Spark. You had half of a blue buff, half of an IE. Right. You could have rerolled. You could have rerolled the the bow, and you could have rerolled an armor. Maybe you hit uh, a sword. Like if you get okay. a sword, you have like IE, or if you had a tier, you have blue buff for Lux. Then you have Vex as well. Like that's that's an option. Right. But um, wouldn't that just like be even more more dizzy? Like, shouldn't I like commit it to at least something here? Or like, or, or, or like commit to the Yone, as I said, like slam the Runan, slam the Hodge. Okay. And then yeah, you can reroll. You can reroll like one of the armors and the and the and the jewel gauntlet. Okay. Because like then it's like you're sitting around with like and you do you don't do it on four one, you do it on four two, and then you kind of sit around more and then you slowly slam the items. And then, what item do you get later from the carousel? You get you okay. You get the GA. So it's like, but like okay. So yeah, you could have you could have just rerolled it right away, like on four one on four one instead of four two. Like knowing you're not playing the jewel gauntlet, and then here you finally stabilize. But you could have had yep. so much more gold to roll. Maybe you hit a lucky Kaisa. Uh, maybe you finally hit that Camille. And yeah, you you don't end up playing. You play the you always if you can you always play. Six Challenger and uh, the Bodyguards. Or if you high roll, you can play Yumi and Jace. Or you can play like Leona and Jace. Or you play Leona and Braum. Um, I don't think that the Enchanters were that amazing. Okay. Or like if you do play Enchanters, then put the fucking Janna in the front so she pushes shit away from Yone. Yep, yep. Because like she's protecting the back line, but there's nothing in the back line. Right? Yeah. So you can, you can almost... You can almost frontline Oriana and Janna because like Oriana has less mana to cast now, and you just want you just want Oriana and Janna to cast and then then die, because like the yep. fights like the fights you lose are the ones where where Yone dies and then it's like what the fuck is this shit in the back like it's useless shit just not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. And it's like fights like why are you why are you backlining like the important like here it's good positioning because like there's assassins, so like obviously this gets wiped first. But then again, here it's like you're protecting the wrong shit. Like you're protecting these units in the back. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, so if Yone dies, it's over, right? So like Yone yep. didn't die here, but it's like, yeah. So that's like a positioning thing. And like, yeah, like of course it's better if you have two star Janna and two star Oriana. But I would I would frontline them a bit more. And obviously you should probably chalice the the Fiora or the Yone. Okay. And then was this correct here? Selling the Samira for Yeah, I mean Kaisa is, is insane with 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 the double static. But then uh you definitely want to challenge the Kaisa, right? Yeah, and I that at that time I would have, I just like didn't have a lot of time. And I think, think Chalice Kaisa actually you get fourth here. Instead of instead of like if you if you go back, like I, I found the Kaisa with like two seconds left. I guess it's more time, but I just, yeah. Okay, let's see. Like this, this like.
It's more about like the hesitation right here. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to sell for it. And then like yeah, so it's it's just yeah, if you did that a little bit faster, you get the chalice on the Kaisa. Uh, she does a little bit more damage. Does one more unit and it's a fourth, yeah. And then like maybe she could have killed one more unit with a little bit more damage, and yeah. Well like that this is the frustrating thing, like the, the backline everything, right? Like instead of having Oriana and and Janna up front with Kaisa as well. well. Real quick, just like show me like how you position this in the uh, like the team team builder. Well, so like, what do you want to happen, right? That it's more about like, what do you want to happen? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of that's kind of how I look at at because I, I used to play like StarCraft and these kind of games, but I'm, I'm slow. Like my APM is shit. But it's like, <laughs> what do I want? In, what do I want? How do I want the fight to to play out? So obviously, <laughs> I need to protect these guys because they're more important. But what if I do something like uh, Oriana here and Janna here? Okay. Right? It's like Kaisa yeah. is just gonna fly away anyway. Maybe even I yep. put it on I put it on Yone. I think you had the Chavez on Oriana, right? Yeah. So it's like why not have it like this? And then you have the and then you have the front line, or like maybe you can do something like this. So it's like you always want to focus fire, which I think you did a decent job of focus firing, right? And then you had um, Fiora. So Fiora can go in front of Kaisa, for example. And then I believe you had, you did have Brom and Leona, right? So yep. Brom here, Leona, like right behind, like right, like Leona, so she kind of shields the, the most units, right? And then we had a Quinn and one of the unit no two four six eight yeah so this is the eight units okay so oh sorry Jana. so Jana could be somewhere here as well yeah 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 okay so then she, when shit starts hitting the fan like shit starts going down yone is gonna walk up and start attacking and then everything else is like here and then like obviously against scion and shit like that you cannot clump up like this yep but against the guy you were playing or like just maybe you can like position a little bit differently because the Yordles, I think, I'm not sure how the um, the Vagar shit works. Whether it hits, uh, it hits random enemies. So I guess it, it doesn't, it's not AOE. It just hits an enemy. So it doesn't matter if you're clumped up or not. Yeah. So then like something like this. So then like Janna actually pushes stuff away. And like if you have two star Janna, two star Oriana, then it's like, why not why not even frontline them completely? Yeah, yeah. Because they will cast, and like, yeah, you need to position so that Yone doesn't get stuck somewhere doing stupid shit, but like something like like this, for example. And Kaisa can be frontline as well, I think, because she will dash away. So something like, like this, like so that the units actually cast. Okay, okay. I don't know, like maybe like this. And then like if you're playing what you're playing... Like, they don't spend as much time walking up. Yeah. And then, like, Yone doesn't die as quickly because there's just, like, more stuff. Yep. And Janna Jan actually, like, does push away. Oriana actually does something useful. I don't know if, like, Oriana, if she casts sooner, she might do something useful. You see, like, that was actually really good from Oriana. But if that was earlier, even better, like, Yone might have survived a little bit longer. Yeah. Obviously, this guy, this guy's board is hella capped. Obviously. Yeah, I think it's unlucky too. Because I feel like I probably wouldn't have lost to like, any other players who were alive. And just the matchmaking is kind of. But that's sad. like the, the the main issue was like, uh, you're slow rolling on on level seven. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which I, I and like again, like I thought that was correct, I guess. But now I see it's not. Uh, like you, you had enough golden HP to just go eight. So we just go eight. Yeah, yeah. That's the decision you need to make. Like, am I healthy enough to go eight? I am. Okay, I go eight. Yep. Did I have a bad game? Okay, I have, I'm having a bad. Like, this is you kind of throwing away a decent game. This is a. This is. 
I think this game could have easily been like a first if I played better. Like I got like that was a bad game. Like I think it more dog. Um, I just played poorly. I, I don't think you beat the Vigar guy, maybe not. But like yeah, definitely a top four, top three kind of thing. Yeah. But you just bled from from uh, stage three five until what was it like four seven or four six, and you kind of rolled a little bit here and there. Like it's it's yeah. not about rolling willy nilly. It's like. I am rolling for this shit and I need to hit this shit. And you, okay. you're like, okay, so now I'm rolling for Yone 2 or Fiora 2 or like at least, uh, or Lucky Kaisa. And yep. you're just rolling for that. And you know, like, you, you're going to roll until you hit it. And then it's like, if you don't hit it, like, it's a bad game. You're, you got unlucky. Or you're like, okay, I should level up and then I should roll. But just rolling a little bit here and there, it, it did very little for you and just, you lost a lot of gold. For, okay. for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it, it's also like about the value of the gold you spend. That's what that's what I mean. Like you didn't get good value. You didn't get good bang for your buck. Right. Right. I hope you got some bang for your buck for the coaching session, but not for for the gold you rolled this game. I and think that, I definitely got yeah a lot of bang for my buck. I really appreciate okay. it. Okay. Happy to hear that, sir. So keep in touch. Let me know how the climb goes. And yeah, yeah. this is this is gonna be on YouTube for you as well. So All right, absolutely. Awesome link. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.